guys, I'm back and now I'm going to show you how to create a segment, how to create a form, and then how to connect those two. You're going to use forms when you're trying to collect email addresses so that you can have people on your lead list. All right, so the first thing you want to do before you make your form is you want to create the segment that you're going to use. So when you hover over audience, there are two options and one is segment, so you're going to click on that. Segments just means that this is a group of people that have signed up for one particular thing. So if you have a newsletter and everyone is subscribing on your website, then you would make a list, a list called, excuse me, a segment called newsletter subscribers. In this instance, we're doing a little flow desk training. So I'm going to make that. Boom, and now you have this list with zero subscribers. <laughs> and next you're gonna do a form. Flowdesk allows for three different kinds of forms. I'm gonna kind of show you each one of them. Um, this one is called a pop-up. This is the first option. They do give you little templates that you can use. A pop-up, you've seen these. If you're shopping on like Target or ASOS or some other online platform, it'll pop up in the middle of you on the website and say, save 10% today when you sign up. And then someone signs up and they save 10% because you're going to email them a code. So that's a pop-up. The next option is inline. Inline is when someone like typically on the blog you'll see these inline ones you'll start to scroll down and when you're scrolling down there will be a place for you to enter to subscribe like usually at the bottom of the page again they give you options of what they're calling a banner which is just very plain no image there's one that can be in the middle of your blog post with an image and then they give you another image option your last image and this is the one i'm going to do a demonstration of today is called full page now the bonus with the full page is they actually give you a link directly to this form so if you don't have a website you can actually use this full page form as a like a landing page for your website so the first thing it asks you is for you to um, connect your segment so you're going to choose the flow desk training segment that i just created and now it's all about customizing. I'm just going to show you some quick customization things right now. So first, I just clicked anywhere, and I want to change the color of the background. It's very boring. That means this whole page is going to be white. I want the whole page to have some color to it. My branding colors, which I also showed you in the last video how to add branding colors, are here. But you can use any of these colors that come with the system. And also, if you need a new one, then you can add it here. <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is add your image. So when you click on that, it takes you to your computer. I am going to add, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to click on an image and see what it is. Perfect. I have a home goods <laughs> company. So it uploads your image. I'm going to give it a moment. See how that looks in there. All right, look at that pretty little image. So now we have an image in there and now you can just make edits. This is Okay, so we did that. Now you see this font right here. Maybe I don't like that font. Maybe I want it to be italicized. Maybe I want to change it to something like this. There are so many options of fonts that you can choose from and they have them in categories like sans serif. They have a serif font, which is what I'm using right now. And then you also have like a script option and mono space that looks like you're just typing. I am a, I'm gonna do a serif and I don't like it being italicized. So I'm gonna make it like that. Now you can change the color. I'm gonna change it to something that matches a little bit better. Okay, let's do that. That will work for today's purposes. Next, you can edit anything that's in this field here. Just put your message. And with your message, you can change the color. This font is too light. I'm gonna make it black. Um, you can change the size of it. You can change the, the different font that you're using. So I'm gonna use Dido. That's too small. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger. You can change the letter spacing. You can spread them out in a weird way. You can change the line height, like this is too far apart, so let's do that. Another thing you can actually do is change the alignment, like you might want it centered. I'm gonna double click in there, yeah, there you go. There it goes, it's centered now. Maybe I decide that I want it to be um, on the right side, but I'm gonna keep it on the left. Maybe I want them to be all caps for some reason, so you can do that. 
there's a lot of customization options that you have with flow that's which is really fun now i don't like these little pill shaped um fields so i'm going to change that to a rectangle so you click on that it's now a rectangle and i don't like the border being that color so i'm going to change the border to a color like this let's see how that looks oh i love it and then now you're going to change the button i want my button to be one of my brand colors so i'm going to change that and that shape just does not work for me so I'm going to change that shape and now I feel like the text, I don't really see the text the way I want to. So I would like for the text to be white and I don't feel like it's large enough. I'm going to make it a little bit larger and I don't want it to say download your free guide. I don't have a free guide. I want someone to, to oops, subscribe today. All right. And then down below here, you've seen this where people have cute little messages like, I promise your information won't be stolen or whatever you want to say. You can also change the color of that because right now it's not very legible. So, and that looks good to me. Okay, so now when you're done with all of that, oh, if you decide that you want to add or remove, like maybe you don't want to collect people's, um, okay, let's go in here. Oh, never mind. Um, we're not going to make that edit here. Okay, so I'm done with that. Everything looks good to me. And now I want to check to make sure that it looks good on mobile. So you start to scroll here. It looks good. One thing to note is that on mobile, you actually don't see the image. That's what they're showing you here. You just get the form. And this is how it looks on desktop. Looks good to me. Okay, go back to editing. And now you're going to go ahead and publish it. So when you come in here, it's going to ask you if you want to be notified when someone subscribes. I love to know every single time someone adds themselves to my list because it makes me excited. So I click yes. And then when you come to continue, then it asks, what do you want to happen when this form is submitted? There's two things that you can do. And I'm going to go back to the design real quick for you. So when someone submits this form, there's an, a message that you can say at the end. So if you click on your button... There's a message right here that you can click on. So they give you automatic, you cannot change these. So choose wisely. Their options are standard, thank you for subscribing. Minimal is just thank you. Friendly is keep an eye out on your inbox for updates. Casual, let's see what they say for casual. Thanks for subscribing. And then the last one is more direct and it tells you, you you're successful and check your email for details. So. We're done with that. So now we know what those options are. And I decided that I don't like any of those options. So I want to send them to a thank you page. So I'm going to grab my thank you page URL here. I'm going to come back here and then, all right, and click continue. And now you're all set. And now here's your link. So you're going to copy that link. And then I like to test out all of my forms. So I put my link in here. And I am going to fill out my information and click subscribe. And now it sends me to my thank you page. Woohoo! All right. So now you're like, okay, that happened. Let me make sure. When you come here, now there's an opt in to that new list. So it definitely worked. That's it. Simple.